Hi, I'm Jimmy Cannon, singer and voice coach, nurturing confidence through the power of the voice to deliver your message with presence and authority. So if you're somebody that speaks far too quickly, I have five tips for you that will help you control the rate and the pace of your voice coming up. So tip number one is to make sure that you articulate your voice. So articulation is really important, and we do that by using our teeth, our tongue, our lips, and our soft palate, and a combination of all those what are called our articulators or our fricatives. By articulating your words, not only will your message be clearer, you'll have more time to emphasize the points that you want to put across. Here's a video I did, bing, about accentuating your articulators. Tip number two is tip number two is pace. Now, you should have a variety of pace, and that's gonna give more interest and more engagement to your listeners, just like an, a variety of tone or dynamics. But don't fall into the trap of mimicking the rate or the level of pace that other delegates or other people on the call, the webinar call, or anybody that you're speaking to has. So if somebody particularly speaks really quickly and they want to get their point across very quickly, don't fall into the trap of speaking at the same pace as they do. You have to find your own comfortable pace and even consider slowing down a little bit and using pauses for effect. Your speaking rhythm should also change depending on the type of topic that you're discussing or the emotions that you wish to convey. A friend of mine, Bob Ferguson, has come up with a fantastic tool he calls sprints and drags. And it's something that you'll see politicians do a lot. Basically, when they're talking, the stuff that isn't so important, they'll speak really quickly. And as soon as they want to knuckle down on the important thing about the population or the end result, they will slow down their speech. So try this as a task or an exercise. Write down an excerpt of what you want to say and then just highlight the section that you want to really, really emphasize or focus on, particularly that you want the listener to really engage with. And then highlight that. And when you get to that point, just slow down and really emphasize and really experiment with slowing down that particular area of your speech. Tip number three is to plan what you're going to say. Now, the idea is that you're planning ahead what you want to say in your mind. So for instance, if you were to read what you were gonna say, so if, if you were to write down what you wanted to say and then read it, you'll probably end up reading it much slower than you would say it from your head. So for instance, if I say what I've got here is my prep to this video, we all speak more slowly when we're reading text. Practice writing out an excerpt of what you want to say, then record yourself speaking it you'll find that the speech is more controlled and refined. Now, if I speak at that pace, it's gonna be much more engaging and you're going to probably listen, hopefully, more intently. So if I do that again, we all speak more slowly when we're reading text. We all speak more slowly when we're reading text. Practice writing out an excerpt of what you want to say. You'll find that the speech is more controlled and refined. You'll find that the speech is more controlled and refined. So practice writing out the speech, read out the speech, and, re and re learn the speech by rote, then record yourself giving that speech, having just remembered it, and see if it's a little bit slower and a bit more refined and more controlled. Tip number four is to breathe. Now, I've spoken about breathing a lot. I'll put a link to a video that I've done about breathing up here. Bing! Now, take a breath through your nose, inhale, and hold it for a few seconds and that's gonna release some endorphins. It's surprising how short that seems when you're speaking to somebody or in a Zoom meeting or webinar. Just then say what you're gonna say. It gives you time to think about what you're gonna say, and it also gives your listeners time to digest and to take in what you've just said. So try to breathe deeper and less often. Tip number five is resonant. If you find that your words are cut off and your vowels or in the middle of the words are short, then you're probably one, not breathing, not taking a nice relaxing breath and using the breath 
on the exhale to create the sound, you're not also opening up or elongating the vowel. So this is exercises about opening up the sound in between the consonants, which are the vowel sounds. Elongating or stretching out the vowel sounds will help you slow down and emphasize the correct words. It will also create more resonance and therefore more tone in your voice, giving you more authority and just more engagement. Try this exercise. Just say the days of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But I, I want you to as an exercise, I want you to really open up and stretch the vowel sound. So, for instance, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, etc. Well, just the seven. <laughs> um, try that as an exercise. Do it a little bit quicker. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So just to recap, we talked about articulating the words, planning what we're going to say, when we're going to say, and imagining that we're writing down the words as we speak. We talked about varying the pace, thinking about sprints and drags, thinking about where we're going to emphasize, where we're going to slow down, where we're going to speed up, and actually do we need to speak that quickly? Is it necessary to get our point across? And lastly, well, actually two more things. We talked about breath. Can we take a breath in either through the nose or nice and slowly here just to give ourselves a little bit of time to just to reboot and allow our listeners to digest what we've just said. Lastly, we also talked about creating more sound, elongating and stretching those vowel sounds out to just give ourselves more resonance and again to engage the listener. I hope that's helped. If you'd like to work with me either on a one-to-one -one basis or with your team, please do get in touch. Message me either down here or get in touch, jimmycannon.com. Speak soon. <laughs>